Hello, I'm Noel Hasegaba, Deputy Executive Director at the Port of Long Beach. Welcome to Supply Chain Insight, where we explore the latest trends, issues, and news in the supply chain with industry experts, influencers, and leaders. Our objective is to bring you the insight you need to help keep your cargo moving. Today's business leaders expect a lot from their supply chains. Efficiency, velocity, flexibility, cost management, and operational excellence. Supply Chain Insight brings the supply chain to you one segment at a time to explore new approaches and innovative solutions that will help you and the Port of Long Beach deliver greater value to our customers and partners. And speaking of our partners, our special guest today is a longtime partner of the Port of Long Beach. As Vice President of IHS Market, Peter oversees editorial content and the editorial teams of the Journal of Commerce and JOC events, including the TPM conference. Peter is here to give us a pulse of the shipping industry and a preview of the 2022 TPM conference, which is coming up in just a few weeks here in Long Beach. Peter Tershwell, thank you for joining us here on Supply Chain Insight. I know you're used to asking folks questions and now I have the honor of asking you questions and we're just delighted to have you on Supply Chain Insight. Now, Peter, you have a unique perspective in that you have covered the maritime shipping industry as a journalist for the past 30 plus years. How would you sum up the last 24 months? Well, uh, Noel, first of all, it's a great pleasure to be with you and uh, I appreciate the invitation and the opportunity to talk with you today. Uh, I can tell you that the past 24 months are unlike anything we've ever seen, uh, but I will also say that COVID is like nothing we've ever seen either. And so, you know, I, I get a little bit, uh, uh, I start to have questions in my mind when uh, I hear that uh, the, the the issues that we're experiencing now might be permanent, uh, that it's a completely new normal, uh, because in fact, right up until COVID hit in early 2020, supply chains were working uh, very effectively. Uh, cargo was moving through the port of Long Beach and through other ports. Um, the freight rates were low, which reflected in part the relatively smooth flow of cargo movements. Uh, there was uh, a few bumps in the road uh, that had occurred over the past decade, but uh, for the most part, the, the system was working. Um, and now, as a result of COVID and the very extraordinary uh, impact that COVID has had on the economy, on spending, uh, on our ability to spend, how we spend, uh, you know, it's it's turned the whole uh, industry completely upside down. And so, uh, you know, the question is how much of this is permanent change or how much of this is we just have to get through COVID one way or another, and then uh, supply chains are going to return to normal. You know, Peter is always very insightful. I mean, as you said, very true. I mean, the pandemic has left no sector or industry untouched. Uh, every segment's been impacted. And in, in the past, you know, prior disruptions in the supply chain have been isolated to a region or to a segment of the supply chain, obviously with a domino effect, but the pandemic had the, the effect of impacting the entire end-to-end -end supply chain all at the same time. So given, given what you've seen and what you know now, what is your outlook for the rest of the year? And when do you see the supply chain recovery? Well, uh, Noel, I think that, that that you and your colleagues at at the at the Port of Long Beach and and also at the Port of Los Angeles are uh, doing everything you possibly can to uh, rectify the situation that we're in to try to work work off the the backlog of vessels. You're, you're doing everything you can to get containers off the terminal so as to increase throughput. We know that ships are alongside for much longer than they were prior to the. Uh, prior to the pandemic, and as a result, you have ships that are backed up all the way, all the way back to Asia. Uh, the key issue is is container, getting containers off the docks, and that means that that you and uh, and and everyone else in the supply chain is is bumping up against some really hard uh, realities. Uh, we saw that when the attempt was made in October to uh, to to convert the ports to a twenty four seven operation. Uh, which which has had, as we know, uh, a fairly limited success. And so it, it's going to be a, a matter of creating uh, greater velocity through the ports as you yeah. as you guys know well, I'm not telling you anything that you don't know. Um, but when you're when you're able to achieve that, 
uh, then we're going to see a bit more return to normalcy. But I think it's going to take many, many months, as hard as you guys are trying and given everything that you guys are doing. Yeah, and it's certainly with this Omicron variant, Peter, that has emerged just in the last couple of months, that's another variable, right, that will certainly impact how soon we recover. Appreciate your comments, Peter, and also a shout out to the administration, uh, the Port Envoy in particular, who's been working with the two ports and the broader supply chain to address the supply chain crisis uh, by focusing on near-term solutions. We appreciate that. Now I'd like to turn to some exciting news, uh, the return of TPM in person here in Long Beach. And thanks in large part to your vision, Peter, TPM has become the must attend conference of the year, attracting thousands of industry leaders and executives from across the globe. Give us a preview of TPM 22. What's the theme? What can our viewers expect to hear? And who are some of this year's featured speakers? Well, Noel, I, uh, I appreciate that because we are extremely excited about returning TPM to a live format for the first time since 2019. Uh, because as you will recall, we we canceled TPM in 2020, the day before it was going to begin, the day before it was going to begin, because we were getting really nervous about what we were seeing uh, in terms of the initial emergence of COVID. Yeah. Last year, we did the event virtually, and uh, we have a high level of confidence right now that even despite Omicron, we're going to be able to return TPM to a live format uh, in uh, at the end of February and beginning of March of this year. Uh, the theme is relationships matter. And it's because they do. I mean, if you can imagine, this is a relationship industry, it always has been. And just at the time when we need our relationships most, when things are not going well, when there are problems everywhere, uh, our relationships or many relationships throughout the industry have been reduced to Zoom calls. Mm -hmm. And so a huge pent up demand uh, across the industry. We've seen it in the registration numbers. We've seen it in the sponsorship. We've seen it in the overall level of interest in TPM to just get together in person to renew relationships and to understand uh, what our partners are going to be capable of in terms of delivering. Because uh, if, if you think about it, Noel, the, the calculus uh, for the moment at least has completely changed. In the past, it was all about price. How could I get the lowest price to move my goods? What we're finding is that, is that uh, shippers of all sizes are more than willing to pay much higher prices for transportation, provided that they can obtain the reliability that they're looking for. And, and understanding uh, operationally what your vendors and your carriers and your 3PLs, your railroads, your marine terminals, your truckers, everybody are capable of, truly capable of, um, I think requires some in-person interaction. And, and that's what we're looking for. Um, and, and Noel, you asked about speakers. Uh, I think it's gonna be a great lineup of speakers. Uh, uh, Gary Cohn, who was the former uh, head of the National Economic Council, uh, will be the keynote speaker. He's now the vice chairman of IBM. Uh, he was the president of Goldman Sachs. What are we going to ask him to talk about? Supply chains. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, and give us the bird's eye view from, from his point of view. Uh, we will have several of the uh, carrier CEOs uh, have confirmed that they're going to attend and play various roles, giving us a carrier perspective on, uh, on how the industry has changed and what we can expect going forward. Um, plus a, a whole number of uh, senior uh, executives across ports, terminals, uh, uh, 3PLs, uh, everywhere. And so those who are coming to TBM, I think, are really going to have a very, very good uh, perspective on what the rest of this year is going to look like and how they need to orient themselves and their businesses in order to be as competitive as possible in this, you know, in what's going to be a chaotic environment for a number of months ahead. You know, Peter, it, I, I often wonder, you know, with the success of the TPM conference, how you're going to build on the prior year's TPM, in this case, the prior two years, or since the, the last TPM. But based on what you're, you're sharing, I mean, the theme of relationships is spot on, right? This is more than just a transactional um, business, especially these days. But the lineup of speakers is just absolutely uh, intriguing. So uh, very excited to... Uh, participate in this year's TPM. Now, one of the enhanced features of this year's TPM, as I understand it, is the addition of TPM Tech, which is scheduled just ahead of the TPM conference. What can you tell our viewers about TPM Tech? So te technology in logistics is uh, making uh, some really great headway. Uh, we've seen uh, you know, significant advances in 
uh, in, in all aspects of technology, including, uh, including operational technology like visibility. And uh, on our team is, is one of the world, world's leading technology experts, Eric Johnson, who is our lead technology correspondent. And he is the chairman of what's going to be a two-day technology forum on uh, February 24th and 25th in place at the Renaissance in New Orleans uh, that is going to allow uh, attendees to really gain a very good picture and understanding of how technology is evolving in this industry. Well, Peter, it, it sounds like even, you know, uh, for TPM Tech, another must attend event and can't uh, disagree with you on that. In fact, the relationship of technology with the supply chain has never been uh, more important. So looking forward to TPM Tech as well. And a final note, what should those who are planning to attend TPM Tech or TPM 22 know about the safety precautions uh, that you're taking to ensure everyone's safety? Well, it's a, it's a great question, Noel, and, and I can uh, let everyone know that no one takes the safety of our attendees more seriously than we do. Uh, no one was telling us to cancel TPM in 2020. There was no government, no rule, no law, and, and we canceled it because we didn't think we could do it safely. This time, we think we can do it safely, at least from where we stand now um, at the beginning of January. Uh, our, uh, our policies are going to be that uh, attendees will have to present proof of a uh, of vaccination and proof of, an, of a negative test within 72 hours. Uh, we will have a on-site uh, testing facility exclusive to TPM attendees, so it will be very easy to get tested and get retested uh, as necessary uh, so that uh, we can have a, a safe event and we can do what we need to do in order to be able to get together in person, uh, given how valuable that's going to be for everyone this year. Yeah, I appreciate that, Peter. I mean, clearly you've thought out every possible aspect of TPM 22 and bringing this back live. So we appreciate the attention to safety. Peter Tershwell, thanks again for joining me today and sharing your insights to our valued audience. We look forward to seeing you here in Long Beach for TPM 22. Thanks again for joining us and we'll see you again soon for another episode of Supply Chain Insight brought to you by the Port of Choice, the Port of Long Beach.